Good evening, my fellow citizens. This government, as promised, has maintained the closest surveillance of the Soviet military buildup on the island of Cuba. Within the past week, unmistakable evidence has established the fact that a series of offensive missile sites is now in preparation on that imprisoned island. The purpose of these bases can be none other than to provide nuclear strike capabilities against the Western Hemisphere. To halt this offensive buildup, a strict quarantine on all offensive military equipment under shipment to Cuba is being initiated. A quarantine? That, that's illegal. All ships of any kind bound for Cuba from whatever nation or port will, if found to contain cargoes of offensive weapons, be turned back. The Soviets have every right to be there, and Cuba has every right to defend itself against the United States. But why would Russia be so foolish as to provoke? No, no, Kennedy is the one who's provoking this. I think Kennedy is doing a good job. On civil rights, yes, but he's wrong on Cuba. Your Cubans are just as greedy and hypocritical as your Russians. You fled one failed cause for another. Cuba is the last great hope for Marxism, unless Kennedy destroys it. Well, I grant you this much. Your hero, Fidel, is the underdog, and I like underdogs. This is why I like you, Lee. Kennedy needs to keep out of Cuba. Or what? What will you and your underdogs do to him? Lee, I'm playing with you, huh? <laughs> I am serious. Something has to be done to protect Cuba.